Matthew Knight. I'm a senior at the University of Washington studying biological oceanography. I'm also a research assistant in the Ginger Armbrust Lab. Some of the things that I find really fascinating about oceanography uh, has a lot of opportunities for really cool field work and um, it's largely an observational science so we actually have to go to the places where we're gonna that we're interested in in order to collect samples and to study the area. Um, I've actually been able to go on a couple cruises where we, uh, we actually take the ship sometimes really far from shore. So last summer I got to go uh, on, a, on a trip to an underwater volcano that was uh, 300 miles off the coast of Oregon and uh, we got to use some really, uh, really high-tech stuff. Uh, we used an underwater submersible uh, to video survey the volcano and also to uh, sample from it. You know, it was the first time that I was ever on a boat and couldn't see the land. Being on the ocean, almost like a freeing experience, you know, like kind of just like, you get out there and it's you, and the ship, and your shipmates, and that's it. So, you don't have to really think about what's going on back on shore, it's, it's pretty relaxing in a way. The lab work can be, uh, a lot of fun, it can be really interesting. Uh, one thing I really like about it is that um, unlike certain jobs, it's, it's, not, it's not like I come in every day and I do the same thing. There's always uh, something a little bit different to do. But uh, I, I think that one thing that most scientists could agree upon is just that uh, science and running experiments can be really frustrating, especially when things don't work. I think that's a pretty common thing is to have uh, you know, you, you design an experiment or you're working for somebody who has this great experiment that they've thought out and then you run into maybe one or many obstacles that you didn't foresee. And so that's part of it, is just kind of overcoming some, some challenges that you didn't expect. Uh, so lab work can be really frustrating, it can be really tedious, sometimes you're just doing one thing over and over for hours at a time. But uh, in the end, sometimes you come, come upon a, a really interesting discovery where you get data that you didn't expect to, to find, and it's, uh, it's pretty interesting, so that can be a really, really great moment. Uh, sometimes you, you have to do an experiment, and to do it you have to use some kind of really high-tech machine that you've never used before, and maybe nobody else in your lab has used before, and so sometimes it's kind of like a puzzle, you have to try to figure out how a piece of software works. So it kind of helps you learn to be flexible and really just uh, dynamic in how you think. It makes you really become a critical thinker. So uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. You know, you get to see really what the scientific process is. Uh, working in a lab can be a lot different than really any other job, but I'd say it's, uh, it's, it's educational, it's fun, it's rewarding. Mm -hmm.